It's Tuesday morning and we have come to B&M today. So I've actually come here this morning to pick out some cushions for Ava Lily's bed. I did see some before, um, so I'm gonna have a little look for them, but I also think I'm gonna go to Dunelm and get her some new bedding because I don't know, I've put some bedding on and I'm just not feeling it. And I've also forgot that I need to show you the bed um, as well. But, oh, I think these were the cushions, yeah, that I was gonna get for her, just the little tassel one. So I'm gonna get two of them. So there was actually only one of them. So I'm really hoping that down here, so I've got some more cream cushions that they've got another one. Oh, I think I can see down here. Yay! Get another one of them. Got my two cushions. Now I need to find the one that goes with them that I picked last time. I don't know if it was this one. They look quite nice together. So we've now arrived at Dunelm and um, look at this lovely pink mini next to me. Oh my God, it's so nice. I picked up the cushions from b and Actually take this cushion cover in and just take the insert out. And I'm also gonna have a look at throws and there was something else. Mommy, Can't yeah. remember what it was, but we're going in Dunelm. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I look really extra in my sunglasses. Do you like them? They're from H&M. I lost my Ray-Bans, so I went and got these. They were $6.99. I think they look nice. I am feeding the sunglasses. <laughs> right, I'm now heading into Dunelm because this is too much for me. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> so I'm just out at Dunelm and I picked up the cushion inserts for these. And I actually went for this longer cushion to put um, in front of the other two. So yeah, I'm hoping that that's all gonna look nice. And I also got some of the soft touch bedding, which I'll show you when I get home. It's the bedding that I have on my bed as well. Um, but yeah, I think they are a lovely little match. That was 12 pounds, I think. Um, so yeah, we're now gonna go to home base just to have a little look at the plants because Ava Lily wants like a boho vibe so I'm just going to check whilst I'm here if there's any plants in there. So I'm just now looking at the plants and I actually really like this one it's 18 pounds but I love the leaves although I don't like that little bit but there's not another one of them with leaves this colour like it's really nice and I actually really wanted a hanging plant but they don't seem to have too many of them either so i'm just gonna have a little bit of a look around and decide if there's anything else i might want is this a vibe or is this a vibe because i am feeling this little combination here and i managed to get one of the plants they had a couple more but i love this one because it's so big and i love the color of the leaves and it actually reminds me of jess's plant jude Shout out to Jess at my organised bubble. If you watch her, you'll know all about Jude. Um, <laughs> this is Jude's child. Look how cute it is. So yeah, I picked up that. These from Dunelm and then these from B&M. I'm going to take them indoors now. And we'll have a little look at the styling and see how we get on. So I'm back now from the shops and the school run. I thought I would give you a little... Um, overview of the bedroom I've actually just popped it on my Instagram because I'm so undecided about this chair I don't know if you can tell but it has like faux wicker it's like wrapped in something rather than like the actual cane and it's making it then two different colors which let me just stand back here I just don't know like on camera it really doesn't look that bad but in real life like this is really light and this is really dark and then we have the bed which is really orange and I just don't know if all the tones are working out and then we have this bedding which again I'm unsure if that looks okay, but I don't know if that's because we've got too much texture here and then this and this and everything 
is hurt my brain a little bit. But yeah, I thought I would share this with you because this is the progress so far and obviously everything I bought. Um, and I need to get a nice little pot for my plant as well. So I have a bag here of things. So today is actually Thursday. Um, yesterday I went out to pick up some of the last bits for Manny's birthday. But yeah, I thought I would share them with you now. There are a few little gardeny bits. You want to do your balloons, don't you? Yeah. We're going to do them in a minute. I'm going to start off with these. I picked up some hula hoops. These are from Poundland. Yeah, I thought these were good because they come in different sizes. So this is like a smaller one for Manny. And I love as well, they have like little things inside so they rattle. So that was £1.50. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you the comparison, I don't think. Oh, yeah. So then this is the bigger size, but it's not like an adult one. It's like a kid's one. So this one was £1.50 as well. So I picked up three hula hoops from the pound shop. And then I also got these foam saws. These were just a pound each. Um, and I also picked up this in the pound shop. This is a little hopper from little tykes and it actually said three pounds on the shelf but when i got to the till it was six so they discounted it down for me this is the little red one that matches the car and i also have a pink one as well i also grabbed these so i've got him a green sand pit like the little tortoise one for his birthday so i've picked him up some little sand shapes and they are little tractors and diggers and stuff like that and i really love the colors of these these were two pounds from tiger and in tiger because at the weekend we are gonna hopefully get his little swimming pool out with the sand pit for his birthday what sweetheart you mustn't look that for birthday that for birthday what i forgot i had some of his birthday presents in here no. Um, but yeah, we're going to get his swimming pool out with his sand pit. Um, so I picked him up these little water guns. Um, they were a pound from Tiger. I also grabbed this one. This is from Primark. This is a little spade set. So you get the little, again, sand shapes. Um, these are little dinosaur ones, so they're really nice. And this little set was £2.50, and this also came in pink. And where's your little digger truck? Thank you. I actually picked him up this, but he dropped it this morning, and it's broken. So I don't know if I'm going to take it back, because they didn't have many, and I don't think they'll have any more. So it's a little truck which is so nice i thought you could play with that in the sand pit um and that was three pounds fifty they have quite a few things in primark like in this range yeah it's obviously broken now <laughs> um and the rest is birthday presents so I can't see them now i'm now going to sit down for an hour before i have to pick the other two up from school and we are going to do his yeah. balloon arch so we have gone for the pastel blues and I do actually have in here some blue ones but there is a balloon shop on the way home from the school so I may just pop in there and get some but all the other bits in here are which I picked up from home bargains a while ago if you would have saw on my home bargains haul I've got like his plates and his cups and they're all in this really nice like bluey gold colour which I thought was like ocean themed. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to start doing the balloon stand and just popping that up in the kitchen. Oh, good boy. I've also got some blue and green balloons in here. So maybe I can put them in the balloon arch. Yeah, we're just going to get started with the balloon making and then I will show you it when we're finished. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. I am currently in the middle of making Manny's little pick and mix jars. So I thought I would show you how I'm getting on because I just realised I didn't pick the camera up from the other day when I was making the balloon garland. So yeah, the balloon garland is made. It's here. I wanted to share these little coral reef sticks because they're so cute. So this is them. How cute are these? So I got this idea off Pinterest. 
Um, and basically you use these little strawberry wheels, which look like this, and you just unravel them and then pop them on a stick. And I've placed them in my little Kilner jars. I also have these Lucky Charm marshmallows, but I thought these were good because of the colors and the shapes. They're like all the pastel colors. So they're really nice. I think I got these from Home Bargains. I thought I would show you how I make one of these. Um, so yeah, you just unravel this really carefully because they're actually sealed, but not the whole thing is. So then they'll just undo like that. Um, and then you take your pointy end because you want that to be facing down in the jar in the end. And then you can just place it through and then curl it round. So don't put too much in because then you'll get really big sections. But then you just keep folding it back on itself like that. But I thought these were such a fun idea, especially for like an ocean themed party. And they also had like, um, so you know these sticks, they had green ones of them, but like the fizzy ones in the jar next to them. So they looked like the little plants in the coral. Um, but I couldn't find green ones. So I just picked up blue anyway, because I thought they're like ocean themed, which is really nice. Um, and then yeah, you just keep adding little bits by the way guys it's seven in the morning and i'm doing this i actually picked up his cake yesterday i don't know what day i last filmed but i think it was thursday and yesterday we had such a busy day and i picked up the cake and i went and dropped it at my dad's so i'm gonna pick that up today so i can't wait to show you um but yeah so you then push it all the way up once you have finished doing your little section so it will look like that um, and then you can just pull it down as to how you want it. So I've got them quite open. I wonder who came up with this idea. Like this is so good for a little party idea. It looks so cute as well. So yeah, and then that is the finished coral weave stick. How cute. And then I popped it. In my jar and they look so nice don't they <laughs> so these are the balloons they're actually a lot more white than they were on the picture um those ones are supposed to be like a baby blue and then we have white and then like this nice pastel blue and then confetti balloons but i'm actually thinking because obviously we'll have the doors open to the garden that i need to turn this around so you can see the blue on that side um, so I think I'm going to do that and then set the table up as if it's facing like outside. But we also have a two balloon. So I'm now going to put the tablecloth on here. And then I'll show you what that's like when I set that up. So I've just got um, all the things out that I'll need to pop my food and stuff in. Um, and I need to go get dressed now so that I can go out and get everything I need ready to pop on the table but i'm so excited and i'm just hoping that the sun comes out for us and then i'm gonna set all the garden up and he can just have a really lovely day guys i need to just show you manny's cake how cute is that someone's at the door but yeah happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Manny. Happy birthday to you. Look. Blah, 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 blah. Quick, blah. Go. Go.